Why bother learning about God? It's not original with me, but one person uh, shared how every problem that we face is ultimately a theological problem. If we thought about God and we responded accordingly, what problems would disappear in our lives? How many problems do we have that actually are borrowed problems because we think wrongly about God? Through the scriptures, God has revealed himself to us. We're going to be looking, spending some time uh, looking at theology proper, who God the Father is, what he does, what he accomplishes for his children, looking at the names of God and how they apply in our lives, also looking at Christology, which is the study of Christ, and not just in a, these are the things Christ did, but who he is and how we therefore to be able to respond to him as we look at the scriptures. Second Timothy 2 Timothy 2.2 and Titus 2 where you see an aged Paul talking to the ones he has trained and delivered both truth and heartbeat for ministry. And in those passages, particularly in 2 Timothy 2.2 2, where you're supposed to train faithful men who will train faithful men, we actually see at least five generations of discipleship. Not just Paul to Timothy and him transferring, but if we back up and ask the question, who discipled Paul? If we look at Acts, we actually see a man named Joseph who actually was given the name Son of Encouragement, Barnabas. So Barnabas was able to pour into Paul and we see that discipleship, that training actually taking place in the context of a local church in Acts chapter 13. It says, as they were worshiping, the Spirit came and said, separate me, Barnabas and Paul, for the work which I have called them. So even Paul himself was working through the truth being transferred to him in the context of a local church. And I think that's one of the uh, foundation stones for PTI, where it's not just truth and heart being transferred from older men and, and most of the teachers having been in full-time service for decades, transferring both scriptural and practical truths, but also seeing it in the context of a local church. So we have the aspect of a individual pastor, PTI coming alongside that pastor and church and a man who maybe is interested in either uh, looking to full-time pastoring or being a more prepared layman coming alongside and ministering and training in the context of the local church so then they can be able to go and serve whether it's in another local church, whether it's in their current local church, or maybe even an aspect as we see in scripture where maybe an older pastor is training his son as a replacement and that endearing that you see with Titus and Timothy both being called dear sons of the Apostle Paul. So I'd see that as being one of the, one of the capstones of PTI. The professors, if you want to call them that, at, at, at PTI, uh, it's going to be a varied mix of different pastors who are passionate about two things, about the Word of God and about Titus 2, 2 Timothy 2, 2 relationships, growing the next generation, or even older men who are able to be able to serve in a local church or be able to serve as pastors. And so you get not just the understanding of Scripture, but you're able to be able to have the heartbeats in many of these individuals for decades and decades of pastoring. So it just doesn't come out as here's some cold hard facts, but they've met their God and they're transferring that passion and the practical aspect of pastoring to the students. A, a typical class, uh, it would take a week from a Monday through a Friday. Uh, the classes would start in the morning, normally around 8 o'clock, go till lunch, and they would be kind of module based. So there would be one class that would take that slot, and then there'd be a fantastic break for lunch. Lunch is always good, it's biblical. And, and then to be able to, after that, have another class. So it would be two actual classes 
uh, one in the morning module and then one in the evening or afternoon and evening. And so when that's through, it would end about five o'clock. There's all kinds of time with the other men and women for different discussion about this is what God is teaching, this is what God has been showing, or clarification, interacting with the different pastors. Oftentimes the pastors, either the students go to uh, a individual church or sometimes they're zooming in. So there's still opportunity for a lot of different out of class discussion, which I think is one of, in my opinion, one of the best parts of, of the way that it's set up. The classes for February 20 to the 24th is, will be uh, Christology and Theology Proper, learning to know and respond to God accordingly to be able to love Him. And then also Bibliology will be taught, kind of walking through how did Scripture, how did God give a Scripture, uh, how did God sustain Scripture, different aspects of how God was able to be able to continue to bless His Word throughout generations in history. For Christology and Theology Proper, uh, that would be the class that's actually taught by myself. I pastor Grace Baptist Church in Austin, Minnesota. My name is uh, Dan Melke. And then the other class that will be taught uh, on Bibliology will be taught by Pastor John Schofield. Uh, over three decades of pastoral ministry, and I know that his heartbeat would definitely be able to transfer to any who is able to be able to either take it in person or be able to uh, zoom in or some of the different online opportunities. Uh, the, the classes are designed for those who would like to be able to be serious students of the Word. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be pastors, but those who would want to be able to uh, learn the tool set to be able to live out the command in Scripture of studying to show yourself approved unto God, a workman who needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So those individuals who would want to be able to be serious about the word of God, it would be at about seminary level classes. Um, there's going to be different homework assignments, different projects. So you cannot just be able to hear this is what God is saying, but also be able to dive into the scriptures on your own, wrestle with questions, whether it's questions that come from the text or seeing questions from culture and having to then bring them to be submitted to what God has to say.